In the 1970s, Jean, Rachel Brosnahan, and Eddie, Bill Heck, are married and living a suburban life. In narration, Jean notes they were supposed to have kids but they couldn't. One day, Eddie arrives how with a baby that he explains is theirs now. She asks what his name is, and Eddie explains it's whatever she wants it to be. Eddie is clearly involved in some shady, mob-like dealings. One night there is a banging on the door, and Eddie's associate Jimmy arrives and tells her that they have to go immediately, no time to pack. She takes the baby, Harry, and leaves her home, where Cal, Orin's kind, picks her up. They stay in a hotel overnight and Cal explains his job is to keep her safe. He tells her that Eddie is missing and people are looking for him, and her as well. One evening Harry is burning up with a fever, and Jean says they need to take him to a hospital despite Cal's repeated insistence that they can't speak to anyone. They take the baby for treatment and then quickly leave without being checked out. They sleep in the car and are awoken the next morning by a suspicious police officer, who insists that Cal must be bothering her, but Jean is able to come up with a cover story to convince the officer to leave. She tells Cal she never knew she could lie that way. Cal brings Jean to a home that has been set up for her. In case of emergency, he leaves one phone number for her to call, and tells her not to speak to anyone. She doesn't want him to leave her alone, but Cal tells her they have to do the best they can. Jean settles in, living alone and speaking to no one until one day her neighbor Evelyn comes over to say hello and bring her flowers, she says her friends used to live there. Jean tells her that her name is, Mary. Jean becomes lonely and angry, one night getting so upset that she hurls eggs at her wall inside her kitchen. When Evelyn comes over with a homemade meal and wine, Jean lets her in, happy for some food and company. Evelyn asks where the bathroom is, which makes Jean suspicious since she said her friends used to live there and so she should know where it is. Evelyn says she must be getting old. After a moment of suspicion, Jean lets it go. Later, Jean goes downstairs and sees the front door open and hears rustling downstairs. She grabs Harry and hides in a closet, where she uses the phone to call the number Cal left. She gets no answer, then escapes out the back window and flees to Evelyn's place. When she enters, she finds two men with guns waiting for her, they have Evelyn bound and gagged at gunpoint. They want to know where Eddie is, insisting she knows. The two men are suddenly shot by Cal. He then turns and shoots Evelyn. Jean is horrified, saying that Evelyn was innocent, but Cal says that she was dead the second Jean let her in and that he didn't want to do it. When they need to stop to get formula because Jean can't breastfeed, Jean tells Cal about her history. She couldn't have children and lost several pregnancies, she made peace with that, but then one day Eddie came home with a baby he got from a girl who was pregnant and going to be disowned. Even though she had wanted a child, she wasn't sure bringing a child into this life was a good idea. Cal takes Jean out to his family's cabin. Cal explains that he worked for Eddie. The night they left, Eddie killed the boss, and after they left the house that night the boss's men came to the house and killed Jimmy. Jean says Eddie would never kill again, Cal tells her Eddie has been a killer for a long time. Jean makes him swear he doesn't know where Eddie is, and he says he doesn't. Jean begins living an isolated and lonely life out at the cabin. When a car pulls up, Jean goes to hide in a secret hiding place in the floor Cal told her about, but it turns out just to be Cal's family, his wife Terry, Marcia Stephanie Blake, his dad Art, Frankie Faison, and son Paul, Demory Parks. They join Jean and begin staying at the cabin. Art shows Jean how to use a gun, which frightens her. She goes to Terry who tells her that they saw guys outside their apartment for a few nights and so they packed up and left, and that Jean should be prepared for what comes next. Jean deduces that Terry used to be married to Eddie, Jean never knew he had been married before. Cal was supposed to come shortly after his family, but he has yet to arrive. Terry planned to leave in the middle of the night to go find him without telling her, but Jean stops her and demands to go with her to find their husbands and get answers. Terry gives Jean a gun. Terry takes Jean to a club, where they go to a back room so Terry can meet Mike, James McMenamin. Jean hears from someone at the club that Terry took Eddie's whole life from him, and Jean confronts Terry about Paul being Eddie's son, but Terry says they need to leave right away. Suddenly, gunshots ring out. Terry puts Jean into a phone booth and tells her to stay there. When the gunman passes by to go into the back room and start shooting, Jean flees from the club out into the night. Lost and alone in the city, Jean wanders all night, then the next day stumbles into a laundromat and sobs. She goes to a hotel that Terry had previously mentioned staying at when in hiding before. She finds Terry, who tells her she came back for her but she was gone.
she explains that Mike and Eddie used to work together until Eddie shot Mike's ear off. Terry tells Jean about she and Eddie had Paul, and she wanted to leave but Eddie kept saying the next job would be the last, but it never was. She says she started confiding in the even-keeled Cal, who worked for Eddie, and they fell in love. It was Eddie they were hiding from when they previously stayed at the hotel. Eddie found them and made a deal, Terry and Cal could be together and get out of the business, but one day Eddie would call and Cal wouldn't be able to say no, the call was to come and save Jean. Paul thinks Cal is his father. Terry explains that she and Cal both have normal jobs and really thought they were out until they got the call. Terry hopes that by meeting with Mike, Cal will have heard about her being in town and will find them. Terry gets the call from Cal and the two begin to leave to meet him, but there are men out front. Terry takes Jean out the back and tells her she will meet her at their destination. Jean hugs Terry, and Terry tells her no matter what she hears to keep walking. As she heads off, Jean hears gunshots. Jean meets Cal at a diner, and he tells her Eddie is dead. Jean notices Eddie has a gunshot in his side. Terry arrives and kisses Cal. The three of them drive away but are wary because Mike's men were at the hotel. Jean thinks it's strange they would be after them when Eddie is dead, but Cal says Mike must not know. A car rams them and a chase ensues. The car ends up ramming them head on. Cal and Terry appear to be unresponsive, and Mike drags Jean out of the car and drives away with her at gunpoint. Mike is vicious, shooting his own henchman in the head for talking too much. He demands to know where Eddie is, and Jean tells him he's dead. Mike demands she not lie to him, and Jean shoots him in the head. She drives the car back to Cal and Terry, who are both still alive. Jean drags Mike and his henchmen's bodies out of his car, wipes their guns down, and leaves the guns with them. She and the wounded Terry drag Cal to the car and Jean drives them back to the cabin. When they arrive, Jean sees a car and a dead man on the ground in front of the cabin. The wounded Terry can only give Jean her gun, and Jean goes in to investigate. Inside she finds another man dead, along with Art, who has also been killed. She goes to the hiding space under the floor and finds Paul and Harry, still alive. She makes Paul close his eyes as she leads him out of the cabin. They get into the car and Jean drives them away and towards freedom. In the 1970s, Jean, Rachel Brosnahan, and Eddie, Bill Heck, are married and living a suburban life. Eddie is a criminal working in the mob life. Though Jean can't have children, Eddie brings home a baby for them to raise. One night Eddie goes missing, and Cal, Erin's kind, puts her into hiding. Eventually, Jean learns the whole truth about Eddie, he killed the big boss and set everything into chaos. Eddie used to be married to Terry, Marcia Stephanie Blake, and had a child with her. She wanted out of the mob life and fell in love with his underling Cal. Eddie told them they could get out of the business but on the condition that someday he would call and they couldn't say no. His call was the one to get Jean and the baby to safety. They went on to live normal lives and raise the child as Cal's until the call. Eventually, Jean and Terry encounter Mike, one of Eddie's enemies who is on the hunt for him. Cal discovers Eddie is dead, but they are ambushed by Mike. Jean kills Mike and is able to get her, Cal, Terry, and their kids to safety and they drive away together.